After losing two games on the road to two top 25 teams to start the 2014 season, NKU men's basketball picked up two wins last week in their first two home games, defeating North Carolina A&T on Thursday 68-55 and Ohio Midwestern 98-48 on Saturday. The wins moved the Norse to 2-2 two two overall. Well, it was nice to be home for one, and, and after playing two top 20 teams in Wisconsin and Nebraska, to come home and play really teams our level, we felt like we were able to compete with and, and have opportunities to win. Uh, to come home against North Carolina A&T and uh, play pretty well, I thought, for the most part defensively, and had some uh, tremendous offensive output by Cole Murray to, to really help us get a, get a double-digit lead and hold it for most of the night. Played pretty solid um, and get that first win under our belt was very crucial. Uh, especially mentally for our program. Uh, for the last two years when we've gone into transition um, in Division One, we've got not gotten that first one until late December just because of being on the road so much and playing some competition. Um, it, it's, a, it, it's tough, so to get that first one was really important and then uh, have an opportunity on Saturday to get a win and really play a lot of people and get them on the, on the court was uh, very, very helpful also. The Norris will hit the road once again this week, taking on Eastern Washington on Wednesday, then travel to Moscow, Idaho to take on the Vandals on Saturday. Eastern Washington has picked to win their conference. They're very good. Um, SMU, they just played uh, down to the wire and SMU is a top 20 team and they're very skilled. They, they have five guys on the floor at all time that can uh, pass, dribble and shoot. They do great job spacing on defense, they're gonna switch everything. And these kids have been playing together for two or three years and now they, they've got uh, their rotations and their understanding of each other's games um, down pretty well. So this is gonna be a very tough contest for us. Uh, then when we go to Idaho, they're gonna be very contrasting. Eastern Washington's gonna space the floor, be a kind of a patient team at times, whereas Idaho is gonna push the ball and transition very hard at you and try to put a lot of possessions in the game. So they're gonna be two contrasting styles Eastern Washington uh, right now is, is picked to be ahead of Idaho in the conference with two, two games that are going to be very good for us in our preparation for our conference. Links to live stats from the games can be found on NKUNorse.com and game updates can also be found on Twitter on the NKU Norse Game Day account. For NKU Athletics, I'm Brad Pope.